Peter Sidwell and welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe, fish and chips. My take on the great British classic, all made at home with a few little twists as well. I've got six potatoes here, peeled and ready. I'm gonna cut them into chips. And they're not too small, if you cut them too thin, unless you put them in a fryer, you're never gonna really stand a chance of getting a great chip. So I'm kind of, I'm going that size, yeah? So we'll put those to one side. And we just need to blanch these in boiling water for two reasons. One, just to get rid of a bit of the starch to give us a fighting chance of getting them nice and crisp. The second is really to sign of fluff up the edges, a bit like you do with a roast potato, to allow the oil to get them nice and crispy. I'm gonna season the water with a bit of salt and then into the water. As soon as they come up to the boil, time it, four minutes. So I've got some beautiful smoked haddock, because I think smoked haddock is way underused. And people just seem to cook it in milk and that's it. It is delicious in a lovely crisp breadcrumb or batter. Now I've got some cod, the more traditional. I've got some salmon, which I think is delicious. Kids seem to really like salmon as well, so it's quite a good way. And they've also got a piece of tuna here. So I'm gonna cut these into pieces. We're gonna dip them in flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs. And we're gonna get them really, really nice and crispy. So this is not battered fish and chips, this is breadcrumbed. So, with your haddock, I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle, like so. And I'm gonna remove the skin. So get nice and parallel with your knife, in between the skin, fingers up, and just cut through. Then, once you've got a piece to grab hold of, get your knife in, get it flat, and just pull the skin and push the knife, and you'll take away the skin there. And that's the same with all pieces of fish. So what I'm gonna do is just cut them, it's quite important to cut them into pieces of a similar thickness that are gonna cook at the same time. So, first we need to do is take our flour, our beaten egg and our breadcrumbs, okay? Now it's important you always keep one hand dry, so I'm gonna keep my right hand dry for breadcrumbs, otherwise you end up flouring, egging and breadcrumbing your fingers and nobody needs that. So let's start with the tuna. I'm just gonna roll that in some flour into the egg mixture. Just fish them around a little bit with your one hand and then once they're fully coated in the egg mixture, lift them out and drop them in. Dry hand, lift the breadcrumbs over the top. Roll them around a bit. Potatoes, I have drained and you can see all the steam is coming out there. We want rid of the steam. If you want crispy chips in the oven, get rid of all the steam. So I'm gonna add some oil into the bottom here. In with our part cooked chips. Give them a really good shake around. Make sure they get a nice glisten. And then they've got plenty of oil on them. It can go in a hot oven, 180 degrees for about 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, until they're all golden and crisp. So I don't want my fish to go soggy, but I do want them to be crispy. So I'm just gonna spray a little mist of oil on the bottom of this baking tray. So this is a masterclass smart ceramic bakeware, and it's got all these ridges on. Okay, so that's really good for the fish. So now that we've got everything on the tray, what we will do is then put a little mist of spray on the top as well. So these will go in a preheated oven. This will be 180 degrees, and these will take about 12 to 15 minutes maximum. Once they're cooked, remove them, sit them on a piece of kitchen towel just to get rid of any excess and they're ready to serve with the chips. While the fish and the potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna make a really nice salsa. I'm gonna use peas, lemon, fresh mint and some shallots. So, cut my shallots in half, finely dice them really, really fine. One way, cut in halfway. Let's take those shallots and we'll just pop them into this bowl here. And then I'm gonna add the juice of a lemon over the shallots, to kind of pickle them almost. Take the rawness away 
but makes them nice and tangy. So the sweetness of the peas, the freshness of the mint, and then the acidity of the shallots makes for a lovely salsa. So this is instead of our mushy peas. And then I've got some cooked peas. So just pop those straight in with the shallots. And then using the back of a fork, just break them up a little bit, just to let the lemon juice in and all the flavors come together. Okay, right, fresh mint, pick from the garden, roll it up and just chop. So let's add a touch of olive oil, just to balance out the lemon juice. Season with some black pepper, pinch of salt, and that's it. Let's add the fresh mint, and there you go. That is our lovely pea shallot mint salsa. That is going to be delicious with fish. Just take a few fennel seeds, there we go, a teaspoon of those, and some sea salt, a teaspoon of that, and just crack them together as a seasoning for my chips. Fennel works really well with fish, it works really well with salt and potatoes. I'm using World of Flavours Pestle and Mortar because it's made out of granite, it's really solid, it's got a good surface area to be able to grind and it's wide so that you can see everything. It's a really good piece of kit. Right, look, you can hear and you can see just how crispy your potatoes can become. So a little sprinkle of sea salt on those chips. Really is amazing how much crispier you can get those potatoes by using this tray. So I'm gonna lift those up Pop them onto the plates there. This is going to be a big kind of plonk it in the middle kind of fish and chips. Pop that onto there. And then we've got our fish. Now, we have got our two pieces of salmon there. Let's pop those onto there. I've got some tuna onto there. Some straightforward fillets of cod. And then we've got our smoked haddock. There we go, so pop those onto there. Lovely. I've got a lemon here, so I'm just gonna cut it into wedges so people can just pop on what they like. Let's bring this over here now. A few wedges there, there and there. And then I've got a little pot here. I've got my pea shallot and mint salsa. Let's pop that into there. There we go. I might just take a last little sprinkle of the fennel sea salt for the fish. And there you go. That is how to make a delicious fish and chips at home. Now, if you want the recipe, go to kitchencraft.co.uk and you will find it there.